Hello everybody and welcome back to Soma. So in the last part, um, so much shit happened and we learned so much that I really can't say in an introduction. Um, it was about the, basically the Ark and like everywhere, it's how we get off Earth and it's, we need this thing called the Dumbat which is the only vehicle to stand the Abyss and the Abyss is where the Ark is. Um, if you don't know what the Ark is then go back and watch pretty much the, like, the last 20 minutes of the last part, it essentially explains it all. Um, we learned a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot in the uh, the last part, um, and I really it took me forever to explain everything that we learned. Um, so we have Catherine with us now, and we're going to be heading to Theta, I believe, to find this Dunbat vehicle. And I'm not sure which way we're going. Um, I believe we're heading back out and we're gonna be getting getting one of the little escape pods or something Okay Jesus. Sometimes I wonder why I. Sometimes I wonder why I have such loud. I sometimes I wonder why my headphone volume is so loud. It makes it so much worse. So I believe we're going to be making use of this little pod to get to Theta. Was it this one? Or it was a it was a big ship we saw earlier. Uh huh what? What is this? Curie emergency vessel four. Hey Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. It doesn't sound like it. Sorry, it's dead. With a shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. Okay. So we continue to head down. I wish I had a map on me. Yeah, I kind of wish I had a map on me. The hell is that? That was one of the nice things, right? We ran into one of these before, and they weren't evil. Although, actually, my screen is fizzing a little bit as if something bad's nearby. And I don't like that music it's playing. Guess we follow this all the way down. That sounds like a way. Oh, oh no 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 no! Oh my god! I just didn't. I didn't see that at first. Oh, no 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 no. I can't stand it. The screaming, the screaming with the static, it, that completely overwhelms me and makes me want to take my headphones off. Is it, is it that thing that I can't look at? Is that what it is? I couldn't tell what it was. I didn't realize what was happening. I just heard a loud, loud bang and I was like, oh my God, what is that and where is it? And then I saw the silhouette of something standing there like the human again. And it scared the absolute shit out of me. So 
So I don't know whether to just walk past it and not look at it when I go past. Or what? I don't know. We'll have to... I guess I'll just look down. I don't... I don't like the noise it makes unless it was a one-time thing and it's disappeared now. Okay, I think it's gone. Oh, crabs. Jesus, man. This game is just... I can't handle it. I really can't. The scares are too much. I'm having to take my headphones off because I can't handle it that bad. It's awful. Normally red's a bad thing, but I'll take it as a good sign this time. Oh, I, don't, I do not like this. Underwater and in a confined space. Chill out. My heart's still beating from that. My screen's fizzing. Is there something on here with us? Fuck, dude. This is too much. Oh, I don't know! I don't know what's happening. <laughs> That one took it out of me. I know every time I get scared, I keep saying that was probably the worst one so far, but I think that was, because it made me run into it as it was, I just, that was the most beautifully done scare I have seen in a long time. This is impressive though. I mean, if I'm going to take anything out of this, it looks pretty. Not again. I know I hate taking my headphones off because it kind of takes you out of the experience a bit. But right now, I, can't, I will have a heart attack if I continue.
with my headphones completely on. Only for a little bit until it chills out a bit. And then I can get my headphones on just so I can get scared straight away. That was... That was the worst thing. That was actually the worst fucking thing. Okay. My screen's fizzing. Dude, no. That corridor. That corridor is terrifying. I swear to effing God. If there is something at the end of that corridor and it chases me out. I... I have, n I have never not wanted to do something more in my life. Like this, no, look at that. You. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Oh, I hate that shit. I hate the old creaking metal and the ocean sound. I fucking hate it. Screw this game. Screw this damn game. It gets worse. Somehow you think it can't get much worse, and but it's gotten so much worse. They've really amped it up this time. I don't like how you shut behind me. You've got... Oh, it just saved. All right, we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. The music. The deep bellowing, like, noises from, like, a trombone, it sounds like, or something. I doubt it is because I am ignorant of instruments, but uh, it sounds something like that. Stop, stop frame rate dropping. It like there's a random frame drop that happens every now and then. Dude, fuck this game. I can't, I can't handle this. Dude, this music. Oh, my flashlight's off. It's probably, you know, would help. Was that the thing I have to look down at? Is this the thing I'm not meant to look at? Is it gone? Nothing but a massive firestorm covering the continent. Ah! 
I'm sorry, head I'm gonna break my headphones from this game. I lobbed them straight to the ground. I don't know what this creature is. I'm not sure if it's the one you're not meant to look at or something. But Jesus Christ, it's the most terrifying thing. Like, I'm not sure what I'm meant to do. Was I doing the right thing? I doubt it, because it was getting much worse. <laughs> Is it gone? Boom! Straight there. <laughs> it just appears. Oh, this thing is terrifying. I don't want to go back in here. So it's in here, isn't it? It's to my right. If we shut that behind me, we should be okay, right? Or maybe not. We can't do anything in here. Oh, well, shit. Okay, yeah, if I look at it, it makes it much worse. Dude, it's right behind me. What am I meant to do? It's trapped me in here. I'm not even going to bother because it makes it so much worse when you look at it. Is it still in? No, it's gone. No, I fucking hate it. It teleports, so it like...
You didn't have to cut me off! I really don't know if this is how you deal with this. Healing? Yep. It doesn't feel like a good thing. I know it heals me, but it doesn't feel like a good thing. Yeah, no chance. The whole thing just tip. It makes something happen every time I do it. I really, I'm not understanding how this creature works. I can't tell if I'm combating it, if I'm combating it correctly. I mean, considering it's in the same room as me and I'm looking away, it's, I guess it's okay. This way. No, nope, this way. Hurry up. Yep. It saved. It saved. I probably ran past so many things, but I really don't care. Because that was the most horrific horror sequence I have been in ever. I can't explain the fear I felt then. That was... That was horrible. That was worse than anything that Subnautica threw at me, in my opinion. Obviously, Subnautica wasn't a, ho like, a direct horror game, but... Oh, it's a shuttle. Huh? What? Oh, you made it. This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Uh, ah, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there. Like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Oh, shit. Don't look at them or get too close. We need to get out of here. Thanks for explaining I know, this. I know, I'm going. Something is stabilizing the ship. We need to let it know this is an emergency. Don't get too so sprinting past Convince them. The ship that this is an emergency. I mean, it feels like they chase you though. They teleport towards you when you get close. It's the noises. That they make. I can't handle the, the static. So we've got to kind of loop. You have to wait until one of them, it gets to a, uh... This is going to be difficult. 
fucking run! Okay, fuck off. Oh, fuck. I don't know where I am. Like, I have no idea where to go. Whoa. Oh, look at this shit. Oh, this the, the tubes have stopped it from... Headphones on for this. Turn around, you moron! <laughs> oh my god! Fuck it, run the wrong way! <laughs> I don't know where I'm going! Down! Stop floating! Oh my god, it's so bad! <laughs> Go, 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 go! Okay, I'm in. So let's get the hell out of here. It's taking so long. We need to pump all the water up before we take off. Can't you do it any faster? I'm almost there. All right, here we go. Hold on to something. This thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? Yeah. I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Brace for impact! Hold on, the planet just pushed us off the plateau! What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. Well, shit. So much has happened in this part. Like, we're only 30 minutes in. We've got like another... I'm going to be recording for like another 10, but... like an emergency the hell somebody opening that oh hey buddy thanks for that oh hey little guy didn't expect to see you again don't worry, Kath. I'll find a way to say hi. Oh, so we don't have Catherine anymore? Ah! Well, we probably do, but we'll have to fix it. Oh, thank you, guy. Oh, it's awesome that he's here. I like him. This is a lot nicer. Oh, my God. 
My heart is, has never been... This, that was the worst part so far, at least. Like, definitely. I'm sorry if I blew out your eardrums, by the way, screaming into the mic. I realized afterwards. I was like, oh, yeah. I was, like, right up against the mic screaming. Come in, Strasky. Can you hear me? Theta, listen. Acres is headed for Theta. Delta, we were headed. Getting a signal, but no audio. Strasky, it's Como Rabi. Acres has gone mad. He's dangerous. Strasky! Sorry, Delta. Still no audio. Try calling from another access point. Strasky? I can try setting. I have the pictures. So that's where we are. Oh, we need to get to the landing platform then. Theta's right next to us though, we're close. <sighs> like, if this thing spreads like a cancer, sticking our hand in it probably won't do any good. Like, should I stop doing that or something? That won't turn. This is so much. So much has happened. It's actually ridiculous. So this is, we need to keep going ahead. Dude, this place is, I love the scenery though in this. As terrifying as it can be, it can be gorgeous at other points. Why is it, why is it? Is that coral or is that a brain? I can't tell, it looks like a giant brain. Oh, that's a big crab. I mean, it ain't got nothing on the Japanese spider crabs, but it's still a decently bit bigger crab than... I don't know what this is. Some sort of obviously broadcaster or transmitter. Oh. Oh, day. Am I right? Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. Good 
transport the theta, so we want to go that way. Oh, Jesus. I don't like how it's breathing and how I got static on my screen when I get close to it. Does that mean he's turning into a creature? Or she? I mean, we don't need healing, so I'm not going to stick my hand in this one. So we're at Delta. Theta's right above us. Oh, wait. Are we, we're going to Tau, aren't we? We need to get to Theta to get this vehicle that can withstand the abyss. But then we need to go to Tau, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sticking my hand in that one because I don't need it. Yeah, some of that wow stuff spreading. So this it's an AI intelligence, but it spreads like a cancer. It's a really unique like concept. Really cool. Oh Jesus, this person's been I look static on my screen again. What are you looking at? No, you just... I mean, I don't know what else we can do, really. Let's head back in here. Do we have to heal ourselves? I mean, we'll do it since we have. I think we have to. Shipping. Arc shell to Phi. Delta evacuation to Theta. Zeppelins. Request transport. Unable to establish link. Zeppelin 049. Maybe we need to connect it with the signal with the other thing. 049. There you go. Link established. There you go. The Zeppelin's on its way. Gotta get ready. Yeah, look at that though. That scares me, that does, whatever that is. That's definitely the Zeppelin. Scared the shit out of me, dude. An underwater Zeppelin? That's awesome. I, um... I think we're going to end that part there. We're about the 40-minute mark now, so... 
Jesus Christ, this episode was the most intense and just... Oh, this game, it gets... So when you think a game can't get worse, it gets ten times worse. It's uh, Normally, if you, if you say, oh, we can't get any worse than this, it always gets worse, I've learned now. Um, I said that in Subnautica, it can't get worse than this. It got much worse. Um, I said the same at some point with... Maybe, I think I said something similar to that. Or at least I thought in my mind, how can it get worse than this? And it got worse. So, probably should stop jin jinxing myself in that regard. Um, but I'm sure you guys are absolutely loving my um, my pain. And, uh, you know, what I'm going through right now. I'm sure you're loving the torture that I'm submitting myself through right now. Um, but uh, again, I'm loving the game. It is an incredible horror game. I have never felt this much terror and like how it, it's able to keep it up as well a lot of games they a lot of horror games they tend to lose momentum as the game goes and it doesn't get as scary as the game goes because they use the same repetitive uh, methods of scaring you and or doing the similar things all the time and it can get really like not that scary especially if they're not well executed every single one is well executed the way everything's designed forces you to be scared it's um it's really an incredible horror game. One of the definitely the best I've ever played, um, in my opinion. And it's got an excellent story to it, really intriguing story to it. Um and I can't wait to get on with it. I mean, god damn, I'm ready to I'm ready to go and save this arc thing and uh, get to uh Theta. We'll be taking the Zeppelin. Knowing our luck. Every single vehicle I believe we've gotten in so far has crashed. So I wouldn't surprise me if this one did as well. Um but we'll, we'll have to just wait until the next part for that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked this video, like it as you would. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye, guys.